Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to All or Nothing Games. This is Aeon with episode 8 of our Become a Legend mode featuring the Mercurial Wayne Bow. This episode is the most controversial yet. An absolute bombshell will be dropped at the end so stay tuned. Ok, with so much happening in this episode we're going to jump straight into the first match against Bolton. So sit back and relax for the most exciting episode of International Sporting Superstar yet. Lefondre takes in. Can he get that return? The clip through. This could be danger for Wigan, but it's well played back to the goalkeeper. Who launches it up to Bent, who chests it down. Out to Miller. Prattley clips it out to the left. Can Taylor collect this? He can. He's kept it in. He swung the ball in. Well away. Darren Bent needs to poke that forward to Wayne Bow, who's on the run. The ball at his feet, he's got no one with him. He's circling in. He's shown too much of that to Dervite. Poor play, just running aimlessly forward. Come on, Wayne. Poor. Got to do more than that. Both defences acquitting themselves very well in that first half. Neither attack could really get fire, and there was one chance early doors by Miller for Wigan, but that was saved by the keeper, and it remains nil-nil here. Straight back to the second half, nothing really to talk about from that first half. Wigan get us started. Gibson in midfield, plays it through to Bow. First time pass back to Miller, gets it back. And he's closed down by the midfield. There's not a lot of space in this pitch. Everyone's getting crowded out whenever they get that ball. That's the long ball. Walker's not going to get that. Lafondra's battling with Gibson. Back to Henry. Into Walker. Walker's got some good skills on the ball there. Prattley's had it robbed from him. Here's McManaman on the run. Can he hold it up? He's played a great ball into Bent. Can Bent square it? He's curled it in off the inside of the post. That is a cracking finish, and it's what we've come to expect of Darren Bent this season. Composure in the box, and a lovely finish. 1-0 to Wigan. Started with a pass out from Wayne Bow to McManaman, who carried it in, and then it was all Darren Bent. Showing some great footwork in the box there, and a dazzling finish. Noon has it on the left, on the right wing. He cuts back inside. He's got the ball away, and Taylor rises at the back post, but he nods it wide. Goal kick to Wigan. Interesting, taking Walker off. There must be some kind of injury here, because he has been one of the best players on the park for Bolton. Wayne Bow beating in the air again. There, he's raging about that. Doesn't happen often. Darren Bent plays it back to Bow. Bow's on a run. Ugh, he's held on to that too long. This has not been Wayne Bow's best game. He's still got time to turn it around, though. Do something for his team. He's done nothing this game. Something's not quite right with him. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. Clough gets a... Looked like a shin on that ball, and it went flying towards the top corner, but it was too high. Wayne Bow sluggish. Absolutely sluggish. This has been a poor, poor game. That's going to go out for a corner. Is there going to be time to take this corner? We're into injury time. And it came from Wayne Bow losing the ball again. Buckley with the corner. Prattley gets in, and that's put out of play. That might have been Wayne there. I think that was a big boot of Wayne. So that'll be another corner. Here comes Buckley again. And Wayne Bow's been taken off. Akpan is in. And it's cleared the shot. And it's just wide with the last kick of the game. And that's a victory for Wigan Athletic. Darren Bent's composed finish in the 60th minute was proved the vital goal. Bolton had a lot of shots there. A lot of them dribbled to the goalkeeper. 
and that is why it was a victory overall in the end for Wigan Athletic. Wayne Bow, a six. I would not have given him a six there. No chance. He did nothing. Darren Bent, fine performance. And that victory has solidified fifth place for Wigan. Point clear of Bristol City, who, is their, who are their next opponents. So that's going to be a great game coming up. So Wayne Bow has now reached 100% manager's trust. And with that last game, I thought it might have dropped a little bit. It was a poor, poor game. Hopefully we can see him bounce back. Is he in the match for Bristol City? The Boxing Day match, he's in the starting lineup. Bit of doubt there, but he's made it. And now there are some breaking news about Wayne Bow. We knew something was off with him. He has been brought up on formal disciplinary charges by Wigan Athletic after he failed to show up to the club visit to the local hospital. It had been reported that Wayne was out on the town the previous night and had been spotted at several local clubs. We'll have to find out if Wayne is going to be fined or even worse, suspended from the team. So that takes Wayne back to his partying days when he was a young lad. Got him in a lot of trouble when he was a boy at high school. Hopefully this is not his bad habits coming back to haunt him. He's in the squad for the Bristol City game. Hopefully his, he'll let his actions on the pitch overshadow his actions off the pitch and get back to football in ways. Let's find out how he's going to do. Bent, Miller, Bo, Samuelson. That's your front four there with McManaman, who played fantastically in the last game, and Gibson marshalling. And then that defence, who really acquitted themselves well against Bolton. Can they do the same here against Bristol City? Sunny Boxing Day. Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you and yours had a good one. But it's back to business now with Wigan Athletic against Bristol City. Now there's been some controversy in the papers about young Wigan star Wayne Bow being reprimanded by the club. Hopefully his mind will be solely on the business on the pitch today and we'll be able to see the sparkling form that the youngster was in earlier in the season. Away we go. Out to Eliasson. Dionne collects it. He plays the ball in, it's a great ball in, and he's through, and that's a disastrous start for Wigan. Four minutes gone. Didio, easy tap-in, managed to hold off the, the centre-back, and he had the easiest of tap-ins to give Bristol City the lead. And this is the team that's just below Wigan in the league, not the start that they wanted. Gonna have to dig deep and get back into this. The good news is, plenty of time to do that. Here's a goal scorer, Dead who chips the ball over to Dionne. That's another great ball in, and it's volleyed wide by Dionne. Real pressure from the visiting team here. Dyer plays a great ball through to Robinson. Can he get that ball in? Oh, it's a goal! And it's Wayne Bow equalising after 16 minutes. That's what we want to see from the, the man who's been in the papers for all the wrong reasons. There he celebrates with his best mate, Anthony Robinson, who set that goal up for him. Lovely ball through to Robinson. Looked like... He was going to cross it, but he whips that shot in and a downward header. The goalkeeper's unable to hold it, and that's a goal for Wigan and Wayne Bow. Wayne Bow on the run. Oh, he's cut across. He was sandwiched between two midfielders there. Couldn't do much there. He's got to play within himself here. He cannot try and do everything. Robinson's on the run in front. Sensible play. Clipped in at the back post. Oh, it's scrambled clear. That ball was won nicely there. Lashed in. The goalkeeper makes a fantastic save. That could have gone in there. 
but it was a great save by the Bristol City goalkeeper. And it remains 1-1 here. Referee brings the first half to an end. What a first half we've had here on Boxing Day. It's Wigan 1, Bristol City 1. Wigan must have turned over a new leaf for Christmas. They've had more possession than Bristol City, and that's not like them. Three shots on target. They could have been more than one goal up here. Second half underway. More of the same, please. That's Wayne Bow hunting that ball. He wants to get back in the good graces of his teammates after really letting them down. And that will be on the back of his mind. Well liked in the club, but they know about his troubled past. The clip over the top. It's a lovely chip. Oh, it's just wide of the post. That was almost a fantastic goal there. Darren Bent clips it over the defender. And Wayne Bow just chips it over the bar. He could not keep that down. A lot of finesse for a big man, but not in that situation. Wayne Bow's broken clear. But that came off as 50p heed and went over the bar. It's been nicked by Samuelson. What? Ugh, he's done all the hard work. Square it. And Wayne Ball puts it in off the, the post. And it's his second goal of the game. Merry Christmas, Wigan fans, from Wayne Ball. That is 2-1 to Wigan. They've come from behind. And they lead in the 79th minute. Great play. Stolen on the wing. And again stolen by Darren Benton, who refused to give up. Played the simple ball in. Wayne Ball let it run across his body and slotted it home with his right foot in off the post. And that was the last act of the game, and it is a stunning come from behind win for Wigan Athletic with Wayne Bow scoring both their goals. There he is. Putting the troubles of the last week behind him and stepping up on the pitch where it counts. There it is, 56% Wigan. Not usually keeping that possession, but they did fantastically this game. And Wayne Bow, eight man of the match. All right, let's see what that does to the table. It keeps Wigan in fifth, but it opens a four-point gap between sixth and fifth. Now we have big news coming out of the Wigan boardroom. Here's a statement by club chairman David Sharp. It reads... After consultation between the club and the league organisers, Wayne Bow has been suspended for 10 games. This was initiated by an investigation into the player's failure to attend a club community event. The conclusion of this investigation led to discovery of the player's failure to follow the club's strict substance and gambling abuse rules. After deliberation with the board and owner, Wigan Athletic have imposed a 10-match ban on the player and moving forward, we'll look to support Wayne in any way we can. Now, let's go over to Wayne Bow himself, who has prepared a statement on the matter. It reads, Firstly, I would like to apologise to my bosses at the club, my teammates, and all the Wigan fans out there. I am responsible for deceiving you all in trying to hide what I have been going through and bringing the club's reputation into disrepute. For this, I am deeply sorry. I feel I have a second family at Wigan and it crushes me to hurt them like this. I have not managed my life like I should have and it has led to an all-consuming battle with alcohol and gambling addiction, which I have sadly lost. I am and always will be a fighter and I will strive to beat this and give everything back to the people I have let down. I will be serving my match bans and possibly beyond that in rehab and with luck, hard work and the right people around me, I will return a better man. The support of this club, players and fans, while not deserved, is everything to me as I start along the road to recovery. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this episode. Look out for the next one to see where Wayne goes from here. On a more serious note, Wayne's story is purely fictional, but the problems of addiction are very real.
and affect many. If you or anyone you know need help or information on alcohol or gambling abuse, here are two organisations that could help. If you are struggling, know that you're not alone and please, as hard as it may be, talk to someone about it. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching this episode of Wayne Bow International Sporting Superstar. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep your eyes peeled for the upcoming episode and we'll see you next time. Peace.